Welcome back to the Tips and Tricks for Teachers series, videos in which we share developmentally appropriate teaching and communication strategies that enable teachers to create a holistic and powerful learning environment. If you have not watched any of our previous videos, please click on the I button to see the complete playlist. But hold on, please click on that I button after you have watched this video. In our previous video, you learned how to stimulate cognitive and language development in your students by using the open-ended questioning technique. In this video, we will discuss one of the most powerful ways to communicate with students. Communicating positively. child, how many times did you hear the words no and don't? How many times do you say these to your students? Have you ever thought about the effect on your students of constantly hearing these negative words? Words such as no and don't have a very disabling effect on children because they are hearing only what they are not supposed to do. When students constantly hear negative words, they start tuning us out or stop listening to us. Also, negative reinforcement has a negative effect on self-confidence and self-esteem. Instead, give instructions positively or positively discipline your students by telling them what they can do instead of telling them what they cannot do. Here are some examples. Instead of saying, don't talk or no talking, say, it's time to read now or Please use your quiet voices to talk softly. Instead of saying don't run, say please use your walking feet. Instead of saying don't ask questions now, say it's time to listen now. There will be a time for asking questions later. Instead of saying no arguing, say let's find a way to resolve our differences. Enable your students by opening up possibilities through your words. Empower them by showing a path of positive action. Positive redirection takes time and can be difficult to implement, but it can be achieved if you are mindful about how you speak. And the result? Confident children with high self-esteem, a positive environment of teaching, learning and growing. And these effects will translate into your students' families too. Use positive enabling language. Let's say no to no. Thank you for watching. We would love to know the effects of your positive communication on your students. So don't forget to share your feedback by commenting. Also show us your love by liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel. And please do keep coming back for more and more tips and tricks for teachers. Happy teaching.